6-0. Smart shot down the left side. Make that seven. Oh my goodness. Cottrell pegs his partner Tynan. Both getting caught on the left side. Wow, that's just beautiful. Uh, quality, quality stuff by the Americans here. They're not taking it easy anyway, Tim. I know that's good to see, you know, it's it's respect as well. Wow, look at that, Munchik. He's on fire right now. 10-0. Half out, good shot, good shot from Tynan. Wow. You can't do it any better. No, there's no picking that up. That was quality. 11 serving zero, nine minutes into this match. Love the jam serve. Forcing Tynan to move his feet, turn around. Looks like the Irish are gonna take their first time out. Mark, you're down there. Irish take a timeout. What needs to change? I mean, they, they're getting opportunities to serve. They're just not earning any points. They do buying silly mistakes. They need to cut out the skip ball, definitely. Um, Maybe trying too hard, perhaps. Trying to hit the ball too hard, compete yep. with the power of the Americans as opposed to... Playing their own game. Exactly. Well, just a reminder, these are round-robin matches, so players aren't eliminated from this tournament so far. We go through Tuesday, and on Wednesday, the single elimination begins, so these players are competing for seeding into the bracket. Each country earns seedings based on it coming into the tournament based on prior performances. So it's not about the seeding of the player, but the seeding of the country. So of course, the United States have a very good seed based on the performances of winning the singles in 2016 in the men's, and also the women's doubles earning their uh, title in 2016. Interesting to see Carson here playing doubles when for the last 10 years, He's played singles and won it. So a little change up for him, and he seems to be enjoying the experience. Yeah, good change for him. Um, strange he's not defending his title. Good shot from Cottrell on the left side. Let's see if the Irish can get some points. Good timeout, earn the side out. Oh my goodness, he got it. It was an interesting swing. Cottrell, Cottrell, and the crowd goes wild. Wow, you can hear the Irish down below us. They enjoyed that point. Cottrell with a nice pass down the right-hand side. No donuts for the Irish in game one. Wow, that's just terrific power and technique from Munchik. Generates so much power just standing there. He really uses his hips. But that's a great return as well. Maybe Italian is starting to learn a bit from Munchik. <laughs> yeah. Great shot, Munchik again. Side out. We're at 13-1, two points away from this first game, the Americans.
great pickup, Tynan. And a skip by Munchik. Terrific defense to stay in that point. Yeah, Cottrell on the right did well to pick that ball. And a rare skip from the Americans. Another point for the Irish. Avoidable hinder called, contentious decision. Uh, looked like he was clear, Tynan. Harsh enough, I would have called a play over, definitely. Short serve called, it was close. Serving two, game point number one for the Americans. Smart shot down the left side. Half out, one game point saved. Great shot, Cottrell. Side out. Second serve coming up. the wrist from Carson, half out. One tick. Great rally. Ambitious from Tynan, and Munchik skipped it. Got away with one, did he? He did. did good rally there, but Irish good fighting. I think that was good. Nice serve. Nice serve by Owen Tynan on the left. Oh, what a get. No, two bounces. Great effort from Cottrell on the right side. So game point number three coming up for the Americans. Got plenty of fans and players and coaches. You see the Costa Rican coaches here watching on, maybe doing a little scouting themselves. Certainly one of the favorites, you'd say, Mark, the Americans in this tournament. Definitely two strong, strong players playing doubles together, yeah. They seem to have a good partnership as well. National champions in the United States. Of course, the defending champions at the World Championships are Mexico, Beltran and Moreno. Moreno not here, but Beltran playing with partner De La Rosa. A great partnership they've developed, and we'll see how they do as we progress through the week. Let's not forget some of the others, certainly uh, Bolivia, who pushed Mexico very hard at the Pan Am Championships earlier this year, losing out in a tiebreaker. Oh, miscommunication between the two Americans. Commentators curse Mark. Talk <laughs> about the partnership and it all goes wrong. That's it, that's it. So three game points saved by the Irish. 
great wide angle pass. So the U.S. win the first 15-5. We're going to take a couple minutes. We'll see what the Irish do in game two to get back in this match. Oh no, we talked about it in game one. Stay off the sidewall. Tynan that time getting caught. That's his second. Two, that's two in the match now, Tim, yep. Side out. Smooth from Carson. Just guided the ball into the right side with his wrist. Oh, dies on the back glass. That was tough. Half out. Oh, no. You don't see that very often. No, caught Carson there in the second half. Before the second half. Well, Munchik says it bounced twice before it hit Carson. I don't think so. Oh, what a get. Oh, great hands from Munchik. Terrific athleticism on display. I think, I think Tynan, uh, sorry, Cottrell slipped a little bit as he went for that. Good get there from Cottrell. Well, Mark, we're seeing some different levels in, in terms of USA versus Ireland, but it's still very entertaining stuff. 
Yeah, the two lads are, are competing, definitely, yeah. And I think you mentioned this in game one. You know, if they can play their own game and just try and play clean, not, not skip the ball, at least make the Americans win it, as opposed to just giving it to them. Another skip. You just can't do that against these two with such quality between them. Uh-oh. Point given. Correct call that time. Great call. That was definitely invaluable, yep. Another point for the backhand of Munchik. Sticking with the lob. Maybe trying to conserve some energy for matches to come. No point in hitting a drive serve when you're getting a return like that. Very true, he's been set up on his backhand and he is punishing the Irish. Wow, another great example, Mark, of, you know. Loose the, return. Yeah, the importance of hitting that ceiling ball well. Six serving, zero. Terrific shot though from Munchik, couldn't do it any better. Ball goes above the 12 foot line. Loss of point or loss of rally. Another point for the Americans. It's now 7 0. Timeout might be necessary here just to have a little chat about this return of serve. It's a little better. That's just too good for Munchik, just on fire right now. Oh, that has to be an avoidable hinder. Good decision, no argument from Carson. Maybe he was just a little asleep from not having hit it many shots the last few minutes. Great rally. Oh, that's just crisp from Carson. Really nice technique. Quality shot there from Carson and a diff difficult shot, difficult back wall shot. Soft touch, wow, nice hands from Cottrell. Side out, look at Carson smiling. He didn't see that coming. Oh no. Little miscommunication between the two Irish. Zero serving nine. Beautiful that time, Tynan left side. He seems to be the shot maker of the two. Yeah, he's getting a lot of points there recently, yep. Not that time, Cottrell. Wanted to hit it, changed his mind, and then it was too late. His racket was already down. One six, sticking with the lobs. Why not? You're getting returns like that. It's too easy. No one's saying that time, time out coming, Tim. Yeah, like not to. Tynan stands very square, very straight on. Oh, clever from Carson. That's one of those outdoor shots he's so famous for. Another point for the Americans, 
Great serve, Munchik. Great defense from the Irish. Carson. Beautiful. Beautiful reverse pinch over to the left side, rolls it out for another point for Team USA. Very straight on to receive this serve. So Mark, you have two timeouts. Why not make the moment last? We've been playing not even 30 minutes and three points away from this match. Yep. Extend it, at least uh, enjoy the experience. And Maybe find a way to scrap out a few more points. Definitely should have been a timeout about five days to go, all right, Tim. There's another big skip from Tynan on the left side. Really struggled with Munchik's serve today. That's a smart wide angle shot. Cottrell ran forward to cover the pinch. Munchik goes to the right side and match point number one. We see the timeout from the Irish. Must have heard you from up here, Tim. Well, if they were listening, we, <laughs> they would have taken a timeout a lot earlier. Well, we hope you've enjoyed this match. Of course, we have many more matches on our YouTube channel across the years, going back decades, actually. So be sure, if you're watching this, to subscribe to the International Racquetball Federation on YouTube. Then you'll get notifications whenever we upload matches. Of course, we have many more matches coming up on this World Championship week. The Americans here fighting for a first seed. They defeated Ecuador yesterday in two straight. They'll get a good seed going into the elimination bracket. Ireland, well, they're still fighting, but they're likely to be facing one of the better seeds as we progress into the elimination rounds on Wednesday. So here we go, timeout was taken by Ireland. Match point number one. Munchik serving, looks like he's getting ready for his drive. Let's see if he tries something different on match point. He did, he went for the crack. A little short. Another drive serve. Went for it again. Carson picks it up. Carson, that was sloppy, he knows better. Could have finished there, all right, Tim. Bad mistake. Well, if you're gonna make a mistake, why not make it at 14-1, second serve. Oh, and he gets it with a slice serve, hits the sidewall. So, Carson Munchik over Cottrell Tynan. 15-5, 15-1, mark your thoughts on this match. Yeah, look, the Americans are too strong. Hitting the ball, very, very powerful. Irish found it hard to get to grips with it, but good battling from, from both Irish players, in fairness. Well, my thanks, of course, to Mark Murphy representing Ireland this week. Good luck to you. And we'll be back with more matches throughout the week. But for now, Tim Backhurst, thanks so much for watching.